So now in this tutorial we're going to go over like colors. We went over this, but we're going to go over it again. I'm going to show you um some useful stuff. And remember I said anything at all that was a that took interrupt 10, 13, all those except 21 will run just fine. So we're going to say mog ah098 and use n10h. Remember this displays a character with um with a, um certain att attributes mob cx we're going to display it a whole bunch of times to fill the entire console mob we're going to just make the string and uh, space just kind of an empty thing then the color remember the color we can say color slash question mark the color I'm going to use is color one zero this is the color I'm going to use now. Actually, I want to use color one seven like that. So that's the color I'm going to use. So now let's type in VL um, one seven H and ten. And now look what happens when you run this. Let's do our little command again. My OS. As you can see now, the console's blue. I just used this to write a whole bunch of blue text in front of it, so it may change the color to blue. Now, let's say I want a little, like a little bar at the top of my screen. Um, the width of your operating system is defaultly, which I'm not sure if you can, I don't know how to change it, I don't know if it's really possible. It might be it's defaultly 80 across. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this command again, but instead of writing 1,000 characters, we're going to write 80 decimal. Remember, hex is not exactly equal to 80. That's a lot more than 80. But decimal would be exactly equal to 80. Um, so <coughs> when you're working with exact numbers like this, like you want exactly 80 you're going to use a decimal which is that you put a D after instead of an H now let's make our color let's say let's see color slash question mark um color eight seven is that a good color Matt I guess color eight zero let's go with color eight zero so change BL to eight zero and ten now let's pile this run our little command to turn make it an image file now let's run our operating system now as you can see there's a little bar at the top I, I wrote the characters this color up here and then a blue all down here remember how I talked about drawing console space pixels this is why I taught you this is you can use this to draw basically draw your operating system that this is one way you can do it now I mean, this is actually all I'm going to show you for this tutorial the next one I'm going to show you a little bit about um, making your own little cursor thing